Hi there, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to find the intersection points of a circle and line in two dimensions. After this video you should be able to create one of these Desmos graphs on your own and I will also provide you with a link to this interactive graph. Now let's start finding these intersection points. The equation of a circle is going to be x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. The center of this circle is going to have the coordinates a, b, and its radius is going to be the size r. What we also have on this diagram is a line and it is of the form cx plus d that is y is equal to cx plus d now if we want to find the intersection points that is i1 and i2 we have to plug this value of y right over here into this equation over here and once we do that we can isolate x to find the x coordinates of these intersection points and if we plug this value of x into the equation of this line over here we get the y coordinates of these intersection points okay so we want to plug cx plus d into this equation over here okay for the value y now, before we do this, let's expand this equation over here. So, if we expand this, what we get is this just below, okay? x squared minus 2ax plus a squared plus y squared minus 2by plus b squared minus r squared is equal to zero. Now, since this has been expanded, it's going to be easier for us to plug this value of y into this equation and then isolate x. So if we expand the circle formula and replace y with cx plus d, what we get is this equation over here. Now we can expand and simplify further. And if we take this logical root over here, what we end up with is this equation over here. And from here, we can use the quadratic formula to isolate x and get its value. The values of x produced will be the x-coordinates of the intersections. Now we know with the quadratic formula, when we have an equation of the type ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, x is going to be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now, if we use these expressions in yellow, okay, and put them in the places of a, b, and c in this equation over here, we'll be able to get the value of x for the intersections. Okay, so this will turn into small x. This b over here will be replaced by this. The a will be replaced by 1 plus c squared. And c will be replaced by this long expression over here. So if we plug these values in to a, b, and c, we are going to get the value of x, that is, small x, for the intersection. So let's recap on how we're going to get the x-coordinates for the intersections. Large A is going to be this value, large B this value, and large C 
this value. So for x, we replace a, b, and c with these values, okay? And we get the x coordinates for the intersections, okay? Now from here, to get the y coordinates for the intersections, we simply plug this expression over here after we've replaced a, b, and c with these expressions into cx plus d, okay? That's the equation of the line. So what we're going to do is get x and plug it into cx plus d, okay? So we end up with this as the y coordinates for the intersections. The coordinates for the intersections are going to look like this. This is the small x and these are the y coordinates. Let's have another look at the Desmos graph to see what I mean. A has been replaced by this, B has been replaced by this, and C has been replaced by this. We used the quadratic formula to get the x coordinates of the intersections, and we plugged this value of x into the equation of the line cx plus d, okay, to get the y coordinates of the intersections. So that's how to find the intersections of a line and a circle on a two dimensional graph. I've left the link to this Desmos graph just below this video, so click on it if you'd like to play around with this graph. As you can see, the intersections change as you play around with the variables, okay? So it's a pretty cool graph. If you have any questions related to this video, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. For more mathematics videos like this, ensure you are subscribed to my channel. For more maths content, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.